All right, what's up guys? So uh, today's a little different video that I'm gonna do for you guys. So uh, we have the Scion right here and um, I have a TRD axle back exhaust. So that means from the axle and back, it's upgraded. Um, TRD is kind of the racing or the sports side of Toyota. Sounds pretty good. Uh, you guys heard it if you watched yesterday's video at the beginning of the video, but I think it could sound a little bit better. Now, I don't have an exhaust with me. I just bought one, so I will be uh, upgrading exhaust here soon. But until then, I want to hear what it sounds like just chopping all of that off and just having it from an axle dump. We'll see if it sounds good. We'll see if it sounds like shit. But that's what you guys are here for to watch. So with that being said, let's get to the video. Let's, uh, I guess, deinstall the exhaust. And then I'll give you a couple revs. We'll go out for a drive see what this is all about see how it sounds and then maybe put it back on because it might sound like shit but we'll see so i just have an extra time to kill thought i would uh, put a video up for you guys so here we go all right guys so uh sorry for the lighting i know the lighting in here is pretty trash um but eventually we'll get new lighting um <clears throat> but i just lifted up the car on jack stands um put the jack under there for extra security um, and I'm putting on gloves now and we are going to go ahead and take off the exhaust. So, um, from what I understand is it's literally it like an S pipe, um, and it's pretty small. So, uh, I'm going to start from the front of the pipe, which will be where the, um, axle is and then, um, let that end hang as I take off the rear where the tip is at. That's probably the easiest way to do it. We'll see how she sounds. I probably won't take it off completely. We'll see how she sounds without it. If she sounds good and I don't want to put it back on, then I'll take it completely off. That way it saves us a little bit of time just in case it sounds trash. But with that being said, let's move along. All right, guys. So uh, we just um, went ahead and measured up, see what we needed. So right now all we have is a, a half-inch impact with a quarter-inch uh, drive adapter and then it's a 14 mil bolt um, and then we're just going to impact it off real quick um, I'll show you what the bolts look like real quick if you guys can um, see so down here um, we have the TRD exhaust which is actually in really good shape really clean um, but we have these two bolts and I also just realized that we have an exhaust hanger that has no hanger attached to it. So when we get our new uh, exhaust, we'll have to make sure that uh, we get that figured out. Um, also, for anybody curious, those are the TRD lowering springs that we got. And then the uh, TRD shocks. Um, I was made aware when we bought the car that uh, the passenger shock had been replaced um, but it looks like they went ahead and uh, replaced both because um, they're both the same um, but that one looks fairly new um, stickers not peeled or anything so it's pretty cool um, but let me zap these off and then I'll get back up to you guys when we get this thing off alright guys so it's been a while since uh, I updated you guys so uh, I ended up realizing that one of the bolts was stripped um, so whoever put it on before or may have taken it off, whatever, um, the bolt was pretty stripped. Um, it was bad enough that I've, tr I tried, um, smaller sockets. I tried just regular wrenches, um, and a breaker bar, nothing worked. So I went to AutoZone and bought a, um, which I've been meaning to buy for a while. So it's a good investment. Uh, it was just a, like a bolt strip kit. Um, it's from... 10 millimeter sockets to 15 so um, a lot that will come in handy a lot so it's a good investment um, so I guess the positive side of that <laughs> but it kind of sucked that it was stripped and I also got a new bolt but with that being said um, it also rained like pretty freaking hard so that kind of sucked and my car is halfway through the garage but uh, I ended up getting that bolt off and so it's installed right there. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it like this, and then I'm gonna start it up for you guys, 
and um, we'll see how she sounds. If she sounds like shit, then I'm gonna put it back on, but I have a good feeling about this. So let's see what it sounds like. guys so i have you on my phone camera real quick and uh let's see how she sounds all right give me one minute <laughs> honestly not that much louder um we'll let her warm up She actually sounds pretty quiet. Kind of sucks, actually. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a little bit louder, but uh, like I said, we'll let her warm up real quick. guys initial thoughts uh, actually so low end it's not that bad low end but I think it's gonna sound pretty much like a Honda Civic when it goes to the high end, but we're gonna see. So obviously the drone in this car is, there's not much sound deadening, so it's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> um, uh, it's not horrible, I'm going like 55. Yeah, th there's kind of the Honda Civic feel. Um, I mean, it doesn't sound horrible, probably not my favorite tone, uh, sorry, <laughs> this camera is kind of all over the place, alright, there we go, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, so, with the, everything closed, it, it drones a little bit, not horrible, uh, like I said, I have an exhaust on order, so this is only temporary, I just want to see how it sounds, okay, like, I haven't been working on my cars lately. I just wanted to do something fun. Turns out, probably not the best thing ever. But I just want to see what, what, God. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. All right, let's let's see. Yeah, there's the drone. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep it like this for another day. We're gonna see how how I like it. Um, it's not in the best area where this exhaust is cut at, um, or like where the axle starts. Um, it's kind of pointing up towards the tire, but it's almost just past enough that it hits the, like, right where the fender and the tire, like, that space in between. So, we'll see how the after effects of that. I'm hoping, like, it won't, like, burn my tire or anything. I think it'll be okay. I mean, people have exhaust leaks all the time. It ends up being okay, so we'll see. I don't know. I mean... It's definitely, definitely probably need to get, need to get done. <laughs> uh, the stupid shit I do for you guys, I swear, sometimes, man. But all right, let's have some fun real quick. Alright guys, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, probably not going to stick with that. <laughs> Ordered an exhaust, so when it gets in here, I will take you guys along for that install. Um, we're also going to get underglow for the car, which I'm super excited about. Like, 13 year old me is like so hyped for that. Don't know why. But like, I grew up in the Fast and Furious era, and that was like my favorite movie growing up. So to finally have a car that I could kind of mod out like that is cool. Of course, you know, American Muscle is always going to be like my baby. But, you know, the Scion is like just the teenage or the preteen in me is like coming out. So I'm super excited about that. This exhaust is in pretty good shape. Um, but we're going to change that out. So um, with that being said, um, I will I might update you guys in the morning we'll see I'm gonna keep it overnight like this and then I'm gonna start up in the morning see how I like it and then drive it to the gym um, also see how I like it then um, because you know it's kind of good test to see how loud you want your car to be before you even uh, spending the money on something that you're sh not sure about wanting so um, yeah but with that being said follow your dreams follow your heart follow your passion thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the exhaust video See you guys in the next one.